Hi, I'm Riley Teeter, and I'm gonna be guiding you through the beginner series of the Better Vac Inversion Program. You can see that on the mat, or you can open up your guide to follow along. Now, before we get started, make sure you've read the owner's manual and you know how to properly use the Teeter Inversion Table. There's lots of videos that can also help you if you're having trouble finding your perfect balancing point or need tips for your ankle comfort. So, let's get started. The first movement in our beginner series is called Intermittent Traction. You're gonna wanna move down into inversion and breathe. Return back upright. This is about five seconds upright or 10, whatever feels right for you. Now I'm gonna go through this series, doing these motions, understanding that you may be watching them while upright since that's hard to follow a small screen while inverted. So I'm gonna go through them a little bit more quickly. But when you get on the table, you take your time and you continue to stretch as long as it feels comfortable and remember that if any movement causes pain, you're gonna stop immediately. So with the intermittent traction, what I like to do is put my hands together, kind of prayer hands, and I'm gonna use my breath to help me relax my back muscles and get this nice pumping action in the spine. So I'm gonna breathe out, and then breathe in. Just let the stress go from the day. All right, our next movement is gonna be a stretch to the side. So you're gonna go down to the point where your tether strap stops you and that should be somewhere between 30 or 45 degrees. You're gonna open up your hands and you're gonna take one arm at a time and just push it down, like just stretch like you're reaching for the ground Stretch out that whole side, your arm, your shoulder. Again, relax and breathe. Hold it for a few seconds and then switch and go to the other side. And again, just planting, just stretching for the ground and breathing. All right, the next one I want you to do is for your neck. Now, very gently take the opposite hand Put it on the side of the head and then using arm strength, not the neck muscles, gently pull the neck to the side until you feel those muscles begin to stretch. Hold it and breathe. All right, again, I'm going a little bit more quickly. You can take your time when you're doing this on your inversion table. Just take those seconds that you need to let those muscles fully relax. That can be as many as 20 seconds. And also remember, even though I'm advancing from stretch to stretch, you can come up at any time and take a break. So the next one we're gonna do is we're gonna hold the hands together and we're gonna do what's a C shape. So you're gonna take your shoulder and bring it to your hip and you're going to kind of move in that direction until you feel the opposite side stretch. So we're stretching all those lats and people don't realize how these sides of your body, these lats here really play an integral part in the alignment of your spine and how your back feels in general. So stretching these out is really important. And we're gonna do both sides here. And again, always breathing, always holding that stretch and letting those muscles relax. And you can do it multiple times on either side or a longer session, whatever feels right. Okay, our next movement is we're going to use our arm and reach over to the opposite side, grabbing the handle. And I want you to, again, use the arm muscles, not the back muscles, as you pull yourself over to the side. Now this is getting those paraspinal muscles, those muscles that run up and down the sides of your spine and helping them relax. And you can also feel it in your hip. 
So again, just hold, breathe, and then reach over and do that opposite side. I love this one. This is truly one of my favorites. And I also encourage you, if you have the traction handles at any time, you can use them. This is a great stretch in any of our programs and give a little hip wiggle, loosen things up. All right, now when you're done, I'd like you to bring your arms back up to your side. You're gonna start with your, stop with your head slightly above horizontal. Just breathe here for a few minutes. Let all those muscles just enjoy the relaxation that you just gave to them. And then after you've been here for a few seconds and you feel comfortable, come back upright. Again, you might need to bend your knees a little bit to come fully back upright. You can pause here for a few seconds, again, breathing. And then when you're ready, go ahead and sit up. Now, I like to end each of my sessions with a little toe touch. This is a reverse stretch, so just hold it here. Again, any of these stretches cause any discomfort or pain, stop immediately. Just again, breathe, relax, let everything stretch out. And then you're done. You have just relaxed and released all those tight muscles of your back. You've helped facilitate the benefits of inversion and it helps you on your journey to feeling your best and having a healthy spine. So remember, at Teeter, we've got your back and invert regularly.